Hi everyone, I'm John Page, and today I'm starting with the focal point and it's just something that uh, came inside the frame and I kept it uh, to use and it's going to be here and this time usually I do a background and then comes the focal point this time I have the focal point and I'm going to build the background around it it's going to be vintage I finally at least one bin uh, got organized this is my <laughs> all the things vintage I have uh, mostly uh, <laughs> organized I've got here the really small pieces that I will probably uh, use now all kinds of leftovers uh, I've got wrapping paper um, what else uh, ledgers coffee dye tea dyed I've got a uh, tags I've got <laughs> tickets uh, music sheets and so on and so on and all kinds of uh, both uh, things washi tape and all, all kinds of other stuff I'm going to start with the bits and pieces of leftovers from other projects which is all of this and just going to take most of it out so I can see what I'm doing so first of all I'm just going to glue this to my page real quick just a little bit of glue stick maybe I'll even use a glue stick for the rest of the pieces that are going to go on this page okay so this is in place and now it's just picking up things that you like that you think will work like I like this color I um, I don't really um, looks look at the details I'm more interested in the overall uh, color of what I have of course also the details but sometimes it's just uh, looking at the general uh, color of whatever piece you've got let's see this one is interesting this one is interesting enough maybe this this is too white for me here maybe this it's all about picking things that you think will work maybe do I want a hint of turquoise maybe so I'm putting this here and we'll see I'm just moving most of this aside because I need to start with something otherwise I will just have another pile here okay so let's see and I always start with the bigger pieces and if I've got a straight edge I will use it uh, to align with the straight edge of the of my page and then I can build on top of it and put other pieces like so there is no <laughs> planning in, into this I'm just uh, going to start gluing pieces and we'll see where it gets me I need a distraction from what's going on here too much uh, news on TV too much social media I need to just do something else that's it it's, this uh, journal is quite large so I'm not sure if all the page is in frame let's hope so okay so this I put a little bit crooked and if something is sticking out of the page I will trim this later 
right now I don't really care now this is just too straight for me so I'm just going to tear something out of it I'm using a glue stick mostly so I won't have to wait for the white uh, glue to to dry I can do something quick and have fun and distract myself no. higher yeah Okay, do I want another piece? Why not? If I don't like it, I can always cover it. When I'm doing this kind of projects, I try to have each piece uh, at least three times on the page. Not always. Right now, like I have only two pieces of uh, a mu music sheet like here and here. Right now, I don't feel compelled to stick it anywhere else, another piece. So, it's mostly intuitive, and we'll see how it goes. Let's see. And I don't care if I have these white edges, and if I do, I'll just take a little bit out of it but really doesn't matter to me let's see maybe nope not sure Okay, I'm not sure about this piece. I will leave it here and let's see. What else do I have that would be nice? Right now I'm sticking more to uh, the edges and then I will start going uh, towards the inside. putting my hand in the glue even though it's just a glue stick it's just there are some uh, kind of glues that I just don't like the feel of it on my hands one of them is glue stick the other one is a what's it called <laughs> A gel medium don't like it mm. maybe something like this mm. this could work yeah, I'm going with this one. I 
this. No. Okay. I think I'll go. As I said, what's sticking out will be trimmed later on. Maybe introduce another color. This could be interesting. Let's go for it. Here we go. Next. The turquoise is calling me, but I'm not sure if it will work here. Maybe at the end I will uh, see if it works. Okay, it's starting to take shape. Okay, this one here. Let's see. Maybe here. Or here. Okay. Next, what? What else? It seems like I will never uh, finish all these scraps, no matter how many collages I will make. It will never end. Mm, nope. Maybe. I don't want to cover the music note here I can but I still need a piece here well, let's see will this work yeah It seems that when I'm not putting like three pieces of the same uh, paper then I'm doing something like if I have a piece here then I'm going diagonal and if I have a piece here I'm going di diagonal I, I don't think about it it just 
how it happens. So <laughs> I don't have any other explanation to give you how I go about it. It's just, I don't know, instinct? What to call it? Okay, what else? Not sure about this one. Okay, here we go, another piece. And I need something here also. earlier on that I wanted to put on this page which now I can't find too much leftovers not going to use it Where the heck did it go? No. Okay, I'm going to uh, continue looking for that particular piece that I want <laughs> to uh, glue to my page and I'll be back. Okay, so found the missing piece that I wanted and I added another piece here because I just felt like it was needed and now I'm thinking about adding a little bit of a washi tape in several places. Don't know why, don't have an explanation for it, just feel like it. So I'm just going to take one of the washi tapes and I'm just putting it down in several places okay let's see not really looking again at what is on each one just going by feel okay finished with the washi tape now I want to stencil now I am going to add the turquoise and I'm going to use this stencil it will used to be one of those a uh, sticky back stencil I don't like it so I just put a, a baby powder to get rid of the stickiness so I'm just going to take a makeup sponge with acrylic paint and dab the excess and start stenciling 
right now I want to do this corner and then I'll see what else and where I want to stencil more I'm thinking some circles or polka dots, I don't know, or splattering, not sure yet. Yeah, okay, next. Yeah, I like it. Maybe I'll do all the two other corners. I'll do it. Whatever. I just used scraps. I had fun. I'm going to do these two corners and whatever will be, will be. So much better than watching the news all day. I was starting to really go crazy one step away from the loony bin. Oh, I like it. I really, really, really like it. I think the turquoise did a really great thing here. Now I'm thinking what else I can add with turquoise if it's with the stencil. Let's see. Maybe, maybe this stencil. Oh, will it be too weird? Whatever. I'm going for it. I'm just going to mask. I'm only using the small one, so I'm putting masking tape, so here we go. I'm going to spread it, I think, quite randomly on the page. Already in love with it. Before I forget, eh, at the end of the year, don't throw away your calendars. I have a project to that is going to use the cal calendars, and if you have the kind that have a spiral in it, I will show you. I always uh, saving them and taking from others if you have a spiral and if you have the ones that can sit like this on a desk even better but it doesn't have to be it can be just like this we are going to use this to use most of uh, our painty papers so if you when December comes, don't throw it away. Okay, let's see.
yeah i like it i'm leaving it be <laughs> i'm not adding anything else so this is it thank you for watching thank you for leaving me comments down below i'll be seeing you in my next video bye for now